Hey everyone, so in today's video, I had the pleasure of collaborating with ilikehairwig.com and I am gonna be showing you their eye part wig. It's super popular, everybody's wearing it right now. This is an 18 inches and I'm basically just gonna do an unboxing really quickly. So the wig also comes with a little goodie bag in here and I'm gonna show you guys what's inside of it. It also has a little rack tail comb that was at the bottom of the package. And now I'm going to remove all of the contents to show you what's inside. There's a wig cap, a bunny to sleep in, a pair of tweezers, a little beauty brush for your eyebrows, and also some duckbill clips. So now I'm going to go ahead and unbox the wig where you can see what it looks like straight out of the package. Here is what it looks like. And here's the back. Here's the inside. It does have four clips at the top, one in the middle, comb at the back, two adjustable straps in the back. It has a band to go behind your head to make sure it's secure. And it also has two combs on the side. So here's what the eye part wig looks like up close. As you can see, the little clips are right here to make sure it is secure. So to me, as I was observing the wig, I felt like I needed to wash it to give it a little more moisture and to kind of like get that package look off of it. So I went ahead and took my hair down. Here's my afro. And now I'm gonna get ready to wash the wig. I'm using this Curl Daughters Wash Day Delight. And I'm just gonna use this big bowl right here and basically mix some of the shampoo with some water. And I'm just gonna give the wig a really good soaking and also swish it around a bit. I don't wanna do too much manipulation, but I felt like I needed to get it really saturated and get it clean, get some moisture in it and refresh the curls. After I let it sit for a few minutes, I did make sure to detangle from the bottom up. So that's what I'm doing in this step right here. Just wanna make sure all the curls are really good and detangled. After detangling, I did make sure to rinse the hair really well. And I also added some leave-in conditioner right here. It's one of my favorites, the Cream of Nature with Argan Oil. This just also adds with a bit more moisturization. So I'm gonna let the wig drip dry right here. I let it do this for about a day or two. I just put it on my wig stand and let it naturally air dry. While it was still wet, I did add some mousse to it just to make the curls pop a little more and to give a little hole and also add a little more shine to the hair. After the hair had dried, I'm gonna go ahead and put this Luster's Pink Glosser on here. This is just gonna give it that final, really good sheen and shine, and it's also gonna help with frizz. All right, so here I am, ready to put the wig on, and this is what my hair is gonna look like underneath. I did braid it up into some really chunky braids. I'm gonna be using this invigorating leave-in spray, it's especially for your scalp, because I usually have itchy dry scalp, so this is something new that I'm trying right here. So I'm just gonna put that all over my hair, make sure to get it at the roots. After applying the leave-in, I'm just making sure to really get it soaked up into my hair as well as my scalp, because I feel like this is also good for your hair. I want my hair to be decently moisturized before I even put the wig on. So here's what the wig is looking like after I have cleansed it and I have applied the products to it and it is dry. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the wig to my head. I'm just making sure I secure that band in the back. And so I actually had to play with this a few times to get it right. But what I learned is that you want to put the clips as close as possible to your natural part as you can. You're actually gonna see me play with this just a few times before I get it exactly right. So 
So you don't want to forget about the combs on the side right here. Make sure to put those in on the side so that you won't have any lifting. And that's also going to secure the wig as well. A wig like this is great for a beginner like me because if I can help it, I want to stay away from having to pluck you know, a wig or having to glue it down. Just something that's quick and easy and simple that I can kind of play with and I can be on my way out the door. So right here, you can see I'm readjusting it so that it can look better than it did in the front. And really the key, the magic, is making sure that the hair is as close to each other as possible on both sides. So if you can make sure the left and the right side is really, really close, and also you can use a brush to, to achieve this, you can tell it's starting to look more natural. You can also use your fingers to make it look more natural. So I'm just gonna add a little water to the wig since it's been sitting for a day or two. Just give it a little bit of more moisture. But basically, once you get the hang of this, it's so, so quick to put it on. I wore it like three days in a row, and each day I felt like I got better and quicker at putting it on because I knew what to expect. So as you've already seen in this video so far, the pros is that you don't need any lace, any glue, you don't need any leave out. If you want to leave hair out, you definitely can, but you do not have to with this unit right here. And also it features the True Roots closure, which means it helps to match your natural roots. This is definitely 100% less hair than you would use when you would do a U part wig. And the eye part just looks super realistic and it's also like super breathable underneath. I felt like this wig gave me a different look. Like it definitely glammed me up and I was looking like a boss babe while wearing it. The next day, I actually just threw it back in a ponytail because we went and grabbed breakfast and I also went and worked out at the gym. So it's super easy to just put on and just put it in a bun or a low ponytail and go. I also threw a headband on, make the ponytail higher or you can put a bun. Just make sure you have the back and the sides secure and covered by your headband and you're good to go. So later that night, we actually went out and had date night. We went to a hibachi grill. So I just want you to see what it looks like in the restaurant. It looks super natural. No one can tell. I was still looking cute. So I really enjoyed this, you guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment box. And I will also have the links to everything that you need if you want to check this out. If you guys have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thanks for watching.